Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect! We're in a different location if you noticed than when we left off last time, but I've decided just to take one last scan of the Citadel before we go on off to the Citadel Council to present the fresh evidence to them, just to see if there's any side quests that we missed out. And first of all, I didn't come to this place before, I've been to Cora's Den, but I haven't been here, which is uh, the other club on the citadel, on the citadel, which is uh, Flux. So here I am, just about to. Hey, good to see another human in here. See what I can find in this here little place. Get out of my hands, Rita. I'd bring her back in a second, but she doesn't want to come. I know, I know. I'll see if I can talk some sense into her next time I see her. Seems like we've got ourselves a little problem. You know how stubborn your sister can be. Welcome to Flux. Name's Doran. What can I do for you? Flux. Tell me about this Flux. Is this a casino? Among other things, yes. We've got some Quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. Okay. Goodbye. Very good. Enjoy your time here at Flux. Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? I overheard you talking with uh, the uh, man in a suit. What do they call it? Volus Man. That's the one. Volus. You've got some problems, I understand. What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left to... Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. No, oh, go on. I've got plenty of time. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. Oh my god! <laughs> That's not a good situation to find yourself in. Being an informant is a dangerous job. That's what I've been telling her. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. No. Oh. Hmm. Really? Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? No. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it. For Jenna's safety. I'll tell you what. Because I'm in such a good mood today, I'll go have a wee chat with Jenna. Maybe I can help her understand just how dangerous Cora's Den is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Surely I shouldn't have to tell her how dangerous Corazdian is, considering that I've had two firefights in that place. <laughs> Think she'd realize. I'm waiting for someone else. Anyway, little game called Quasar. Low stakes. Basically, uh, 20 credits to play, uh, closest to 20 without going over, and you get uh, some bonuses. So that's our game. Four, add another four. At ten, add another uh, four to seven. Fifteen, yeah, I could go for a chance here. Pay out, pay out, pay out. Oh, maximum payout. Ding, 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 ding. We win 40 credits. Uh, no, thank you. I'd like to quit while I'm ahead. <laughs> well, we've just doubled our money. That's nice. And that's the game of Quasar. In a very brief nutshell. Do, do, do. Ah, good old Emily Wong, reporter supremo, eh? Who I sent with the tail between her legs last time. Let's see if I can uh, insult her a bit more. <laughs> hey, Emily. I know you didn't want to help, but you've taken down Fist. Yes, I did. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? Uh, no. Nothing I intend to share with the press. These are for an official investigation. I'm sorry you feel that way, Commander. I'd hoped you'd see the benefit of working with the press. Screw the press! I won't trouble you any further. Goodbye, Miss Wong. <laughs> I like to make her life a misery. Is that wrong of me? Bloody journalists. No doubt she'd twist my words anyway. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly uh, look 
back down here there's a, a uh, keeper over there which I've probably already scanned. Or maybe I haven't, I don't remember. Yep, I've scanned it. But uh, Welcome back, Earth Clan. Will you be needing supplies for your return? Show me what you've got. Will you be Most needing supplies excellent. for your colony tour? No thanks. No thanks, Darth Vader, it's okay. It's this guy is the guy that I, uh... Hello there, welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? You want many good supplies? Let me see what you have. Yes, please. I, I, I want you will be pleased many think, of your very good, good supplies. Things I have. You will see. View standard items. You have a license that I forgot to get last time, didn't you? Medigel upgrade. Yes, that sounds good. And uh, a license. Thank you. There is a way to get to Cora's Den through here, which is good. Go. Pop in and say hello to Jenna. Try and convince her to realize how dangerous Cora's den is. Apparently. <laughs> ah! Here we are once again in this damn slum. Is that drunk still over there somewhere? Yeah, he is! Let's go say hello to this guy as well. Is that you, Septimus? No, it's not. I was about to slap him up. Return here? How dare you? Go away. Let me, let me drink. Let me drink in peace. Fine. Hi, I'll be with you in just a sec. Don't worry. This will be quick. I need to talk to you about your work with CSEC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't the game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. She puts on a brave face. Hmm. Listen. Oh, for God's sake. What's wrong with this? Bloody stubborn. She was right. Rita was right. She's as stubborn as a mule. Right. <laughs> Dear. That didn't go according to plan, did it? She refuses to speak. Oh. Excuse me. If you've got questions about Jenna, meet me at CSEC Academy. What did you just say? Push off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. What the hell's that all about? What was he trying to tell us? I guess we'd better go find out. Yeah. Okay then, to see like Academy. How very bizarre. Maybe he's her uh, supervisor. In entertainment news, Francis Kitt has announced plans to direct Hamlet with Elcor cast members. But what? The production will open dramatic theater to the <laughs> Elcor with a Hamlet who uses Elcor body language and pheromones. Kitt claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not his emotions. That will be a great show. That really will. An, uh, an Elcor play? Flaming hellfire. Just make sure you... Uh, don't go there if you're remotely tired. Take plenty of caffeine with you. Good grief, man. Excited greeting. Hello, human. My name is Hamlet. Flaming hell. <laughs> Hamlet. Hamlet a la Elcor style. A 
Okay, where am I supposed to be going? See, it's like Academy. I've been down there. That's the the guy with the um, requisitions officer. That's the one I was looking for. That's the word I was looking for. Requisitions officer. Ah, I don't believe I've been here. Or maybe I have. Get this straight. Your business partner, Shorb, he's threatened you. No, I haven't actually. Huh? Well, no, uh, not exactly. But he wants to meet with me. I think he's going to kill me. And why do you think that? I... I can't really get into the details. But Shorbin will kill me if I leave here unprotected. I can't help you. Not unless you give me something more to go on. I... I can't. I'm sorry. Oh dear, have we uh, stumbled upon a situation? But I, Excuse me, I couldn't hey he help it over here. Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? I overheard you talking. What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. <laughs> kill you? You sure you're not overreacting? How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Oh my, yeah, he must want to kill you then. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I, I know th it. think you're overacting. Overreacting a little bit here. What do you need? Is there something I can do? Talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around. But you'll show him, won't you? Fine, I'll, I'll talk to him. I can't let people walk around here wanting to kill other people now. <laughs> Won't be a safe place to be, would it? I'll have a chat with him. Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorbin. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Wasn't that the Salarian who asked us to scam the Keepers? He... The yes, Keepers? it may be. Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. Yes, I see. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Anything's possible with Shorbin these days. Well, good luck. Okay, let's go speak with Shorbin. Hmm, something fishy is going on. Wants to kill him. Yeah, he followed me around, and oh my god, he gave me a funny look the other day. He wants to slit my throat. Damn hypochondriac. Detective Chelmick, come into my office. I want to discuss this in private. Ah, come into my office. Where's the door? Anyway, never mind. <laughs> no offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? Uh, excuse me? Excuse me? You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were just getting information, Chalik. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. Ah. Okay, and is the risk worth it? What exactly is she doing? Do you really need to risk her life to get the information you want? This job isn't easy and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you're so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. Always thinking ahead, Detective? It's part of the job. Now, are you going to help me or not? Okay. What exactly will I be doing? I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Okay... Uh, illegal mods? What exactly makes them illegal? Why are you so concerned about these mods? We have access to some of the most sophisticated weaponry there is. It's what gives us our edge. What do you suppose happens when we lose that edge? These give criminals an advantage we can't afford to let them keep. Hmm, good point. Where can I find this, Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. 
Hmm. Not a problem at all. Who's this guy? Hello, Commander. No. Nobody I should be concerning myself with. Let's put it that way.